How dare you defy him? God. Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Too Raw. I've been having a couple of people come into the stream and asking me how I set up my OBS, what settings do I have, what's my GPU, what's my CPU. So let's go through the specs real quick. I have a 9900K as the CPU and then a 2080 NVIDIA GPU. And that's the biggest part because with the CPU, I take more of a hit to my frames in game since we're playing a lot of FPS shooters there's fast movement so it's taking up more of my cpu and it's taken away from the game and with the with the uh touring cards the 20 series mostly uh they if you use the nvenc new encoder they have a dedicated chip for streaming so it doesn't take away from your stream until you hit the max quality option which i'll be showing y'all here pretty soon so let's get into the settings and I'm just gonna go through the main points like the output in the video. And I think there's a couple of advanced uh, settings that we need to go through. But uh, in general, I do have automatically record when streaming and automatically start replay buffer when streaming. So I can start my record, I record and stream at the same time. And then the replay buffer is kind of like what Dr. Lupo has where he can clip 15 seconds and then have it on another screen and it'll pull up a replay. But let's get into the output so for my streaming settings i have the nvenc new this is the one that you want if you have a single pc if you have a dual pc stream you can do x264 on your dedicated streaming pc but if you have a 20 series card i think it's 1660 and then 2060 2080 blah 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 those cards will have this nvenc new and if maybe if you can get away with x264 if you have amd but i have noticed even with my 9900k that i take a frame hit so i use the nvenc new and i don't really notice as much of a drop in fps maybe five to ten percent but that's about it and then with the i would never rescale output i would not do this it's not as crisp as what i'm going to show you in the video tabs and i'll get into that later but on the rate control, I use CBR, constant bit rate. And with my bit rate, I do 7,000. And this is another big part. Depending on your upload speed that you are getting from your internet will dictate what you use as bit rate. I use 7,000 because I am streaming at 900p. That's my, that's my scaled output. I have 30 megabyte upload so if you have i would say above 20 let's say let's say 15 if you have above 15 upload you could do 6000 or or higher but if you have below 15 and i think the recommended is 12 to do 6000 bit rate but i would say 15 if you have below 15 i would do 4500 to 5000 bit rate and i also only do above 4500 bit rate because i get the transcoder in uh twitch so let me show you what i'm talking about so here if you have these transcodes i would set it at whatever bit rate I, I had or that i could handle the highest bit rate that i could handle because if you don't have those and you're streaming at let's say 1080p and 7000 bit rate but someone is on their mobile phone their stream is good that stream is going to buffer for them and they're not going to be able to watch your stream so i would pay attention to that too uh my keyframe interval is at two that was recommended and max quality is what i set it to now if i start having problems with frames or uh my encoder is overloading on obs i will drop this down to quality or performance max quality will use the actual gpu resources other than the dedicated streaming uh chip inside of it and then i will put my profile at high if i have start having problems i will go here too and drop this down to main i have my look ahead turned on i have psycho visual tuning turned on gpu at zero and then max b frames at two now video 
I can't change this because uh, I'm actually recording on it right now. But this is a big step. This is a big thing right here. So a lot of people think that you have to put your base canvas at what your monitor that you're, you're capturing is at. So I have a 1080p monitor. You don't have to do that. What you're streaming at, what you want your output resolution to be is what you put your base can or revolu resolution at. Just because it's a lot crisper. I have been testing this and having people come into my test stream and telling me which one is crisper and i have them i have them comparing each one when i have it downscaling from 1080 into 900p or a 720 it's not as crisp as when i have them match so i would have them match and then i have my downscale filter at Langzos. but if i do have problems with that i will drop it down to by cubic it's not as crisp as Langzos, but it's it's is very negligible and i stream at 60 fps which is not is not a necessity if you stream at 720 and you can do 4500 bit rate and do this at 30 and that your pc can run that i would do that 30 to 60 fps won't matter if people can watch your stream once again we're going for something that people can get into and watch not buffer the whole time because it happens to me on my mobile when i'm not if when i'm when i'm not on wi-fi and i'm like riding with my wife or something and i'm trying to watch uh one of my buddies that are streaming and they don't have the option for me to go from let's say 1080p to 720 or 480 i can't watch because the internet here is not or my connection is not fast enough to not buffer and then and on a, in the advanced tab i have my process priority above normal and i always start obs in administration mode this this makes it so that obs is more of a priority than other other apps so you will get more cores towards this towards your obs and towards putting the stream out uh so that you won't you won't get any um encoding overloads or any errors while you're in obs and i think that's about it so i appreciate y'all checking the video out if you have any comments leave a comment or if i missed anything just let me know and i'll try to get back to it but i hope you have a good one peace